How's it going guys, it's Scarecrow, welcome back to Black Ops 4, and I think I found the best weapon in Black Ops 4. Maybe, maybe. Dark crucified me here, but everyone immediately goes for the ICR, and uh, I feel like it's a very, very, very strong weapon, but I feel like I get killed by this more reliably, this weapon here, the KN57. This gun here, I've been using it all morning, and it is such a beast of a weapon, but whenever I go up against this weapon, no matter what I'm using, I always seem to get beaten by it because it feels like it has a three hit kill range that just murders me. I don't know if that's true, don't quote me on it, but this gun here is incredibly strong. I haven't used all the weapons of Black Ops 3, like I said. Maybe there's an LMG out there that's better than everything else in the entire game that's just, you know, that's just hidden and we haven't used it yet, or I haven't used it yet, and I've heard that the Augur is really strong, but I've used that gun and I don't think it's as versatile as the KN57. So today's video is gonna be all about this weapon. Yesterday we had the worst weapon in Black Ops 4. My opinion on that gun hasn't changed. Freaking go check out the video if you wanna see it. I'll leave the link in the description below. Other than that guys, let's just use the KN for a little bit today. One person down. Please don't snap me, dude. No, don't use a shotgun on me either. Oh god, I'm so dead right now. Uh. Where's the other guy? It's a shotgun. This guy's got an auger. No! <laughs> uh. Anyway, I've never I've never played control before, so I'm not 100% sure. You know if this is a good class for it or anything. But, uh, you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And I thought it'd be a bit of fun. Ooh, teammate is, like, wrecking these guys. They have no lives left. No! No! <laughs> of course the only guy that dies by that is me. Of course. I mean, just look at this gun, dude. It just shreds. I guess you could say that the ICR or some of the other guns might have a faster fire rate, but this thing hits like a truck. Ooh, well, we traded. Life for a life, you know. Guys, we can't lose B. Come on. There we go. Cleared it out. Down. down. That's a sensor dot, and that's a snipper rifle. <sighs> God damn, I love the fact that those are just like so hard to beat. If you miss a couple shots, you're just instantly dead. No. Gonna try and defend this as best I can over here. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I need a shotty. It's a good play on his part. Another guy here there was. Oh, teammate got him. Running back and forth and back and forth. Dude, does he have stock? I couldn't hit him. He was like swaying back and forth. It's a close game there. This is last guy. Get him, teammate. I think so. Wicked. Oh. Two of them left. Ah, uh, well. Wicked 
Ooh, we almost shrek with that shotty. Almost. Uh, you leaving, guys? Come on! That was a close. That was a close round. I got a boost for a, a health boost. Pretty good for A right now. And that that uh, barbed wire there really helps. And there we go. We got a strike team. That'll help out a bit. Ooh, you're so one hit. Well then, we're, we're, I think we got this in the bag. I don't want to be too confident too soon, but I did not expect to get a strike team. I kind of forgot that I had that streak on. Okay, we got one round left, defending. I'm just go straight for B. I think my team's got A on lockdown. I got some pretty good specialists and stuff there, so. This is too good, dude. Am I gonna die here if I peek this? Probably. It's usually how it goes. They have to be pushing B right now. At least one of them. Yep. I stopped hip firing. I thought we were dead there. Another strike team. I think that's pretty much game right there. Yep, there we go. Absolutely destroyed them. I feel sorry for the enemy team there. Oh, we got some slims. Some good old Black Ops 2 throwback. Hell yeah. You're gonna get snapped straight away in here? Is that what I'm feeling? Huh? Because that's blown out and I saw a sniper fire and I'm not running through there if there's a sniper in there. But if I... Frick it. You know what, teammates? You got that handled, right? Just like, I'm uh, just asking. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, in Black Ops 2, that guy would have been dead. That uh, one extra bullet is the one that uh, Black Ops 2 doesn't need. And you had to put razor wire there, didn't you? Just to make my life difficult. Just to make it real difficult on me, huh? Dude. Ah! You know what? Screw you. Nope. No thanks. You mate, you got him, right? What about him? <laughs> no one died there. Come on. God, you know, I'm trying to talk up about how amazing you are, but at the same time, I feel like I'm the one who's letting you down at this point. It's not even the gun. Man, strats are insane. Like punches, and that's the way to go. Look at him. Bullets don't seem to have much of an effect on him either. Everyone in this lobby is trying to bash me. Like, what did I do to you? Huh? I I, I don't recall being that mean. You know, Scarecrow, you know, sometimes you're a real idiot. Not only did you stop firing, you stopped firing twice. 
Like right now, I'd be surprised if you could hit the broadside of a barn. Overriding medical protocols. That's what I wouldn't be surprised about, to be honest. One by dead bad guy. Recon killed. When you piss off an entire team or run into their spawn. <laughs> oh, Alright, I think I think the gun uh, the gun's making up for itself now. They kinda didn't like the way I was talking about it before. Just decided that it was gonna play up now. <laughs> How are we still losing? Come on, not when I have two elite squad members on the field. Come on. These guys are like out to get me with a passion, and my strike team doesn't. Like you're running around shooting. Where are you? Where are you killing? You died. You big useless overpaid brute. You, huh? Your team has been wow, you were very useful, dude. I think you got one kill. Did you get one kill? I don't think so, actually. A whole but nothing, dude. Mr. Shuddy's there. Assault packs down. Come get me. I. That's not fair, dude. Okay, that's not fair. My bash, for some reason, never works and yours does. Like, I, I want to pay for. I want you to pay for my broken nose, dude. Why does my bash never work? Why? Why didn't bash no work go? Huh? He's down. I'm Was I still out behind that wall? I don't know. The game, the game just just like shrugs his shoulders. It's like, yeah, you can have the kill. I suppose he was out from behind the wall. I suppose he was. Apparently, at Warling Victory. I like to point out the fact that we have two recons. Why? Like, on on this map, you really you make me choose between a medic and talk. Well, we're gonna go with talk because talk on this map is the specialist to run. You guys, want my tip to take away from this video? Run talk on Seaside because he can block off entire lanes of maps with his two specialists. Like that right there is a pretty annoying thing because it just makes them have to go even more further around. Be advised. Hostile attack deploy beacon active. We've lost the lead. Do -do. Are you really spawn flip right now? He's gone. I'd like to point out that I got a 65 round magazine. Like, not that it helps much, but, you know, 65 rounds, it's a, it's a lot of bullets. Now, if I ever did come across four people that couldn't shoot straight, or couldn't shoot at all because apparently not shooting straight is the game, is the theme of this game, then, uh, you know, pretty cool. I'd be able to kill them. Maybe. See, why does my bash no work? Why you no work, Bash? Huh? I don't think. Have you connected once this game? Once? I don't think so. Way out in place. I'm. I'm pretty. I'm pretty disappointed in the bashing right now. Huh? You let me down. Did I? Oh, my shield did get someone. Look at that. You don't have to die, that's alright. I won't take it too personally. But you can get in my razor wire. I don't have a problem with that.
No. That is beyond frustrating, dude. Groove, killing people, and then BAM! Skill! Skill from out of nowhere! I'm dead. Okay, apparently not. You wouldn't, like, for some reason, people love to sit in this room, so whenever I play talk, that is basically what I do. I put that there, and they try and charge you, and they die. And surprisingly, people actually die on razor wire. You'd think if people know where razor wire is, they wouldn't run into it. But no, they still they still see it there and s somehow think that they'll just like run and jump over it. Somehow. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I get pretty good points when people die on that, sir. So. Again, my bash is at my bash is broken. I, I should give up trying to bash. Bashing don't work no more. Try and follow me. I dare you. See how well that works out for you. Now yeah, they have a sensor dart up. I had it's in an easy to reach spot, so I'm not complaining. He's up there, teammate. Why? Get me in, get me in, get me. This game hates me. This game actually hates me. Never once have I failed that jump. Not once. I didn't think it was actually possible as long as you held spacebar, the game was just like, oh, you want to climb over this? Okay. No, apparently not. Apparently it is possible to fail it, but only when you actually want to get inside from a hellstorm. That's when you fail it, you know? This is definitely related and made by the same people that made Black Ops 3, because Black Ops 3 hated me. It loved, loved to destroy me. In any, at every chance and opportunity that it got, it would destroy me. In multiple ways. You know what? I just came to accept it. What, you're gonna deny me putting one down here? There you go. It won't fit. How is it not gonna fit? Are they really just gonna keep swan of me? Apparently, yes. There's an AFK dude back there. Have fun there, buddy. Trying to run through that. Okay, let's try this again. Now nah, you're working. I'm very impressed. Try and run in after me. See how that works for you. The hell was that? I, I didn't even know. <sighs> well guys, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. This gun is amazing. I think it's a really dependable AR, and in my opinion, the best AR at the moment. Everything else kind of has a, uh, some drawbacks. The SCAR has a fire that's too low. Um, I do know that the ISCR can suffer a little bit of range. And I don't know, I haven't really tried out the last two assault rifles too much, but I do feel like this is the like the most dependable, easy to use like powerhouses of the group. Like if you want a really strong AR that's really simple to use, then slap on this one. It doesn't really need a side or anything like that. It doesn't really matter what attachments you have on it. You just do really well with it. So yeah, other than that guys, thank you guys so much much for watching if you have enjoyed don't forget to hit the like button subscribe for more and i shall see you beautiful people in the next video